Hey y'all, we're here at the South Carolina State House and today we are talking composition and four different tips that you can use to improve your photography. Side note, composition just means everything that's within the frame of your photo. And this list of tips is neither comprehensive nor set in stone. So experiment around and find out what works best for you. Tip number one is crop in camera. And cropping is just cutting off the edges of your photo so that you get the exact composition you want. So in this example, I'm on the south side of the state house and we've got some construction going on over here. And of course, I'm not gonna want that in my final photo. So I could take a photo wide out like this and just crop it in post. And that's gonna be okay, but it's gonna be even better if I go ahead and zoom in a little bit and crop that out in camera and then take my photo. Because, like I always say, you want to get the best possible photo in camera to begin with. Tip number two. Tip number two is remember your horizon. And that's just a fancy way of saying keep your camera level. Here we can see a photo of the state house taken and I'm just off kilter and it doesn't look right. But in this photo, I've leveled my camera and it looks a whole lot better. And the reason we say remember your horizon is if you can just imagine looking through your subject at the horizon in the distance and get that horizon level, then your compositions will look a whole lot better. Tip number three is the rule of thirds. Now, a lot of times when you first start out, you're going to be centering your subject a lot, and sometimes that can look great, like this shot right here. But one of the easiest tricks to kind of spice up your photography a little bit is to use the rule of thirds. Now, an easy way to do that is just imagine two vertical lines and two horizontal lines that cut your composition into thirds each way. Then you either want to stick your subject in one of those thirds or on one of those thirds lines. And a great example of this is if you have a subject in front of a cool background. So right here, I have my girlfriend Kara in front of the state house. And here she's centered up, which is what a lot of tourists are tempted to do when they're uh, taking a photo in front of a landmark. But in this other photo, I have her shifted over so that she's in one third of the photo and I have the state house in the other third. And just changing that and changing the uh, angle of the shot a little bit lower, I get a much better composition. So that's just one example of how to use rule of thirds. There are a lot of different ways. Experiment around and see what you like best. And for our final tip, we're gonna head over to my alma mater, USC, to the historic horseshoe. Tip number four is leading lines. A leading line is anything that takes your eye through the composition. Here on the horseshoe, I'm using this line of bricks. They're just leading our eyes through the composition off into infinity. But sometimes your leading lines are gonna lead your eye to a subject, and they're not always gonna be a straight line. For example, it could be a country road that's winding up towards a cabin, or even a river that's meandering up towards a waterfall. So experiment around and just keep your eyes open for anything that you could use as a leading line throughout your composition to make it a little bit more interesting. So those are my four tips for improving your composition. Like I said, this is far from an exhaustive list. You can find a lot more and I'll be going over some in later videos. This is just a good starting place for you. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, please give it a like and maybe share it with a friend. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you hit the little bell, you'll get notified when the next video comes out. I'll see y'all then.